Inaasahan ng DepEd na ma-reconsolidated ang loan ng mga guro sa isang financial institution ayon sa DepEd spokesperson. Narito po ang kabuoang interview ng One News kay DepEd spokesperson attorney Michael Poa. I don't know yeah. if the DepEd does but I do know that majority, the bulk of loans taken out by teachers are from private uh, lenders, loan sharks, five six who actually grab the, uh, well, not grab the man, but demand that the teacher turns over their uh, sim their uh, ATM cards. Yes, that's true. That's very true, sir. No? So basically, what are the concerns? Uh, number one, I think there is a perception that GSI is loan. Magandang araw po mga kaguro. Inaasahan ng DepEd na ma-reconsolidated ang loan ng mga guro sa isang financial institution ayon sa DepEd spokesperson. Sa panayam ng One News, sinabi ni DepEd spokesperson attorney Michael Poa na umaasa silang muling pagsasama sa mahin ang mga pautang ng mga guro sa isang financial institution na may mas mahusay na mga rate ng interes o isang panahon ng amortization. Ipinaliwanag ni POA na ito ay dahil ang mga tagapagturo ay karaniwang humihiram ng pera mula sa mga pribadong nagpapahiram na naglalagay ng mas mataas na mga rate ng interes na iniiwan ang mga guro na nagdurusa sa mga parusa mula sa mga pautang. Sinabi rin niya na ang mga alalahanin sa DepEd loans ay may mas mataas na perception na ang GSIS loan ay may mas mataas na interest rate. Ang problema sa private lender ay mayroon din silang kasunduan, lender at borrower, tungkol sa automatic salary deduction at may dapat e review ng DepEd. Dahil dyan, may minimum take-home pay daw ang gobyerno, kaya ang nangyayari dati ay dahil lahat ng loan na ito sa private lender ay automatic na mababawas. At narito po ang kabuoang interview ng One News kay DepEd spokesperson attorney Michael Poa. I don't know yeah. if the DepEd does, but I do know that majority, the bulk of loans taken out by teachers are from private uh, lenders, loan sharks, five six who actually grab the, uh, well not grab the man, but demand that the teacher turns over their uh, sim their uh, ATM cards. Yes, that's true. That's very true, sir. No? So basically, what are the concerns? Uh, number one, I think there is a perception that GSI's loans have higher interest rates. Um, although there's a difference between, I guess, what is the effective interest rates. And, and private lenders are very good at that. When they advertise their interest rates, it might seem low, but effectively, it's quite high. Also, the problem with uh, private lenders is that they also have agreements no, for salary automatic salary deduction, and that's something we'll have to review. Uh, due to that, uh, us in government, we have what we call a minimum take-home pay. So what used to happen in the past is because uh, all these loans from the private lenders are automatically deducted, pagdating po sa GSIS loans, uh, they are no longer deducted, and so they the teachers end up suffering uh, surcharges, penalties, no, because of... Uh, late payments or no payments at all. Uh, the GSIS tried to do something about that during the last administration. They launched uh, what we call the GFAL program where the GSIS bought off all these loans from private lenders mm. so that consolidate them all and the teachers will just have to repay GSIS. No? And we were mm. trying to offer better terms. Now, uh, for now, I guess I, I cannot preempt anything because no discussion has been really made no, with this right now. Although, definitely, this is something that the administration of the Vice President, Secretary Sardo Terte, would want to fix no, the, the problem with teachers' loans. We're hoping that, I guess, we could again reconsolidate these loans to one uh, financial institution, whether it be GSIS, no, uh, with better interest rates and maybe a better amortization period. So that, so we can improve the net take home of the teachers.
non-financial benefits like uh, health insurance, for example, which you know uh, might seem minimum impact the moment, but the truth is it has a large impact on the finances of our teachers. Pag may nakakasakit, no, and all mm. that. And uh, field health, of course, is always there, but it would always be best to have some form of health insurance to also support. Salamat. Them. At kung ikaw ay interesado ng mga bijong tulad nito, mangyaring suportahan ang channel na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpindot ng like, pag-share ng mga video at kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please subscribe sa channel na ito at pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang maabisuhan ka para sa mga paparating pang mga videos.